it's a big game for us, you know, our first SEC play game. So I think everybody's very excited about it. Uh, we have a primetime game also, so, you know, it don't get more exciting than that. So, you know, it don't take a lot to get excited for this one, but uh, I'm pretty excited. You getting tired of people asking you uh, if it's a revenge game? Yeah, yeah, I've been asked that a lot, but like I tell everybody else, it's really not about the revenge. You know, we, we know what happened last year, they won, but uh, most importantly, we had to come out this year and just, you know, set the tone. It's a different team, a different year, so we're not really looking for revenge. We just want to go out there and do what we're supposed to do. The Rebels' offense is getting a lot of the headlines mm -hmm. and the hype, but what do, you, what do you see when you look at their defense? Uh, the defense, they stand out uh, mainly up front, the D-line. Uh, they have a lot of guys that are very big, but they play fast and um, they don't give up on plays. So we have to do a great job of blocking them up front and uh, finishing them on, on plays that we have the chance to finish them on. How do you block a guy like Robert Kimnichi? Yeah, I mean, basically you just have to use technique, get your hands inside first, uh, but you know, don't stop there. Like I said, he's active, he keeps playing hard. Uh, make sure you're just finishing him the whole time. And uh, you know, you just gotta keep hitting him, uh, wearing him down, make sure he gets tired. How important is it your catching ability, too, in a game like this where they can be scoring mm -hmm. a lot of points? Um, it's very important. Whenever you can be able to catch the ball and uh, make plays on the field, um, also, you know, switch it up with the running game, uh, they can't really key in on one thing. So that'll make it very important for us, and I think it'll be an advantage for us this game. involved in the, you know, what turned out to be the game winning play for all this last year. Yeah. Uh, is that serving any special motivation for you for this game? Uh, and, you know, yeah, it's kind of motivation. You know, uh, it, it was a play that stuck with me for a while last season. But, you know, as I, I look forward to shaking it off and moving on from it, uh, but it, like I said, it's in the back of my mind, but it's nothing that'll really uh, affect me during the game. Is it, is it harder to maintain your focus when you got a late kick? I mean, like a super late one, like an 8 mm -hmm. Yeah. It, um, I wouldn't say it's hard to maintain your focus. Our coaches do a great job of, you know, uh, moving times around, making everything uh, to our advantage, you know, getting rest, uh, meals at the right time. So, you know, it's not, it's not as bad. You're very anxious uh, all day waiting because it's so late kickoff. But um, when you get out there, it's just like you're ready to go. Ready. Dalvin, um, you sick of people asking you if this is a revenge game? Um. I guess you could say that, but it's just the first SEC game, we're excited about it, and they're a good team, and we just want to be able to prove ourselves as a team that we're good this year. Does the mindset shift when you get into SEC play, or is that something where you try and have the same mindset every week? Um, every week, well, we pretty much try to have the same mindset, but it's an SEC game, so you're going to be even more excited for it because it's conference play. So when people are talking about the other team's offense, mm -hmm. as much as they're talking about Ole Misses, do you all take that personally? And is more of a challenge than you normally would? Um, yes, you could say that because, you know, the, our Ole Miss put up 70 points a game, and we, we don't want them to put up 70 points against us. So it's, that make a, it's, trying to, it's like we're trying to make a statement so that we're a good defense. So, yeah, you could take it more personally. How important is it to get to Jeff Kelly early in the game? Hmm? How important is it to get to the quarterback, Jack Kelly, early in the game? Um, it's pretty important because we know that they can make big plays. So the more we affect him, the less amount of plays they, they can make. You know, they're, they're not really sure if they're going to have Laramie Tunsil tackle. Uh, and Coach Saban was saying that means that y'all, you know, your, your schemes are the same, the, you know, the plays are the same, but it's how you, you know, maybe would attack a guy it changes up. Mm -hmm. how, how does that affect your preparation this week? Um, our preparation, um, we just prepare the same. Uh, no matter who they put in, we're still going to run the same schemes, the same techniques, and all the same stuff. So it just depends who they feel like playing.